February 19th, the night that I actually got shot. It felt like a quiet night. It was cold, dry, like a typical winter night, real starry. I remember that. We spotted these four boys. d Easy's getting extremely nervous. And he starts tapping me saying, yo, listen, they're following us. They're following us, man. We got to run. We got to run. And in my mind, I'm contemplating what to do. Because for me, running means I've been defeated. Running means that they've been able to instill fear in me. The most important thing to me was my dignity, was my pride. I wanted to face that harm alone. I wanted to face that danger alone. The first thing I say, I open my arms and I say, yo, what's good? Whatever you are ready to do, let's get it done. So they walk up to me. The youngest one of the group, he pulls out this shiny nine millimeter and puts it right on my stomach, point blank. Everything is on the line. For a second, I was able to see beyond me versus him. I saw a lost child in this, this kid's eyes, a human being that was confused and hurt and angry. I saw a mirror in his eyes. It was that second that changed me. I'm exactly like that person. There's people who can't get the full picture of me. They want me to be one or the other. Renegade or Henry Green. And they can't imagine a world where I'm both. Every person is both. There is no black or white person. You cannot label people. We're too complex. My shooter is too complex for me to just label him Shooter, tell me you'd still be as interested in me if you only knew my renegade. It'd be easy to call me a monster, but understanding people is not about being easy. It's not easy to do that. I'm Shakespeare, and so are you.